Yo, my people, dumb. CFC, Willis Blue, back with another video. And it's Chelsea News update. It says, man, we've got two people to talk about today Robert Sanchez, as well as Benoit Badia Show. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And tomorrow, I will be doing a live stream for the match week 10 Premier League table review and doing a match preview for our game against Noah in the Conference League on Thursday. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Hit the like button, the subscribe button and help me get as many views on this as possible. But now, let's get into the news and start off with Robert Sanchez. And look at this. Chelsea retained full belief in Robert Sanchez's talent. The feeling within the club is that Sanchez has all the ingredients to be one of the best goalkeepers in the Premier League. The feeling is Sanchez's decision-making will eventually catch up with his talent. And at 26, it is hoped that his performances will continue to improve as he matures. See, there's going to be people out there that will be saying that, oh yeah, 26 and still needs to mature. For a goalkeeper, they can literally play at the highest level up until like 38 to 40 years old. So that's just the reason why I feel like they're saying that he needs to, he can mature. But personally speaking, I'm not one of those people that are going to be thinking that Robert Sanchez will be the guy to lead us back to a challenge for the Premier League title or a Champions League. Like, he can help us get top four, but that is the maximum. This guy costs us too much, too much. Look at the game against Man United. Look at the game against Arsenal last season. Like, there's just too many instances. There's going to be more than that. But I am already aware of Robert Sanchez's um, shortcomings. And hence the reason why last season I was happy for Petrovic to be our number one. And that just goes to show. But now now that Petrovic isn't here, we have Philip Jorgensen and Robert Sanchez. There will be people that will be like, Jorgensen deserves a chance. I'm not going to lie. These are two keepers that are practically the same. If one person is a little bit better than the other, then fair enough. But they're not going to be guys that would go from take us from here all the way up to here. We don't have that goalkeeper. We do not have a world-class keeper. Hence why Robert Sanchez will continue to get backed. Because we literally just don't have a superior goalkeeper. We literally don't. And this is our problem. Because until we solve this issue or Sanchez somehow, somehow just gets better... But by the end of the season, we're going to be having defensive issues a lot of the time. Because personally speaking, I know we don't have a world-class defence. But it's not helped by the fact that we have an unreliable goalkeeper. Sanchez can be good with distribution and shot-stopping. But with the ball at your feet and having to make decisions quick, nah, you're not with it. You're not. You're, you make too many bad decisions, too many and it's just not good enough. I hope that we can get top four with you in goal, but I can't lie to you, man. That's going to be the most difficult thing at this point. It's going to be the most difficult. And that's just not even the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is to get a keeper that will challenge for the Premier League title and the Champions League. Someone like Diogo Costa from Porto or someone like Mike Mignon from Ace Milan are keepers that I think that could help us get to that level. But that's not going to be happening in January or or maybe at the latest in the summer because as you saw already the club back him Maresco has continuously backed him saying Robert Sanchez will continue to do these things and we will continue to have many many mistakes that's literally what has been said so for me I just hope that Sanchez can somehow improve or we sign a world class keeper next summer because if we don't there's no chance that we can move forward there can't be we can't do that. I don't feel like we can do that with Jorgensen or Robert Sanchez. So that's just my thoughts and opinions on the Robert Sanchez and the goalkeeping issues. That report was reported by Matt Law as well. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. But now I'm going to move on to the second person. And this is on Benoit Badia's show. So look at this. Chelsea do not consider Benoit Badia's show a player for soul. As he's highly thought of at Stamford Bridge. He is considered part of the long-term project at Chelsea and everyone at the club strongly believes he has a bright future at the club. <sighs> Personally, I don't see how this is can be so true because 
we're not going to be playing with two left-footed centre-backs. Levi Cole is the starting centre-back, for one. Benoit Badi is sure if he's ever to have a bright future, ever to be really important. He can't be important just by playing Conference League or our League or our Cup matches. He needs to be playing near enough every single game and the important games as well. But personally speaking, he is not trustworthy enough for those roles. He has been just poor from last season and even this season. I can't think of too many games where he's been good. There has probably will be one of one game, but there's many games where he just ain't good enough. And just someone for me that just looks poor. You're clumsy on the board. You give the ball away way too much and you're just and what's the thing called? Your awareness just isn't good enough. Just isn't good enough. And you can tell that by the time where you be like you're holding your head your hands in your head so many different times. You've caused us mistakes that other teams capitalize and score goals on, like you has to be better. The decision making needs to be better. Like you're on the ball stuff, passing, that's very good. But other than that, what are you really bringing to the table? Nothing too much in my opinion. And it's unfortunate because there was a feeling was when you came in, that was before Levi Cole had a first team place, then you could have been having that role, but you can't. Levi Cole, for me, he is the bell all-round defender the all-round defender and I think that he will be our left side centre-back for the majority of the time but with Benoit Badi is sure going to have appearances in the Conference League or in FA Cup he can bolster his opportunities to be in a starting eleven for the majority of the season but I don't think that's going to be possible I just don't think he's that reliable I just don't think he's that good him Axel de Sassi them and there for me they're just not good enough at this point in time, they're just not. So for me, they can play cup matches, conference league, but when it comes to the Premier League and all of these kind of things, stay far away from the starting eleven, because we cannot rely upon these guys to help us get top four if they're playing consistently. Sanchez is one thing, but Ben Wabadi shows a whole different thing. You cannot play both of them at the same time, because it will just cause just a recipe for disaster, in my opinion. So... I hope that Chelsea's defence can just pattern up because if we're going to be honest, this is the part of the field which can deny us top four, which is the highest thing that we can get this season, top four. That's the highest that we can get. I know what FA Cup is still available. I know the Conference League is still available. But we want Champions League football. We want to be in the Champions League. We don't want to be in the Conference League. Every single season, whether we win it or not, we're always going to be in the FA Cup or a Carabao Cup. We need top four more than anything. And we just better hope that we get it. Because if we don't, then there's going to be questions asked. And Robert Sanchez, he's going to have to get sold if we do not. And if we fail terribly. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on the Ben Wabadi show. And Robert Sanchez news. I want you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think Robert Sanchez is good enough to be our number one? Do you think Ben Wabadi is sure? will forever fulfill his potential to be um, to be a bright future for the club. Let me know down below and make sure to check out the videos tomorrow, match preview, as well as a live stream to talk about the Game Week 10 um, Prenny Table Review. So stay tuned for that tomorrow and enjoy the rest of your Tuesday. My people, them, hit the like button, the subscribe button, Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in a bit. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.